Elon Musk just announced major changes to Tesla's 2026 Model 2 production line, a move that could completely reshape how Tesla builds its most affordable car yet. But are these upgrades only meant for the Cybercab and the new fleets, or are they secretly paving the way for the long-awaited Model 2? Today, we're breaking down the three key pieces that set the stage for this shift. The upgraded Cybercab prototype, Tesla's next-gen AI5 to AI8 chips, and the rollout of FSD version 14. Will these innovations finally make Tesla's cheapest car a reality for everyday drivers? Could the next phase of Tesla's AI chips change how the Model 2 drives, charges, and even learns? And what do these production changes really mean for you? The guys waiting for an EV that's fast, smart, and affordable. We'll find out in today's video. If you enjoy real tech breakdowns, not hype, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to help us hit 15,357 subscribers. Because your click drives us closer to the next big Tesla story. How is the new Cybercab prototype? Hiding Tesla's biggest secret yet. The real Model 2 platform? A brand new Tesla Cybercab prototype has just been spotted testing on public roads. And this time, it's not just a concept anymore. It's nearly production ready. What makes this leak truly exciting is what it reveals about Tesla's long-rumored Model 2. The affordable EV meant to revolutionize the market. Because under that minimalist shell, this Cybercab may actually be the first real-world look at the next-generation Gen 3 platform that both vehicles will share. The latest sighting, reportedly taken in California and first posted on Reddit by user named Tesla Lounge, shows a Cybercab that's clearly evolved from the 2024 prototype. For the first time, the car appears with a steering wheel, suggesting Tesla is testing transitional configurations, part human-driven, part autonomous, before fully removing manual controls. This aligns with Elon Musk's past comments about offering both driver-optional and robo-taxi-only variants on the same scalable platform. But the changes go far beyond the cockpit. Tesla's engineers have subtly reshaped the rear section, raising it slightly to boost aerodynamics while shortening the lower tail to save both material and weight. The rear bumper is smoother, reflectors moved further outward, and side cameras repositioned for better visibility. Even the B-pillar now sits lower and further forward, with larger doors for easier access. A clever redesign that simplifies manufacturing while improving usability. Gone are the painted tires and overextended wheel covers seen on early concepts. This prototype now rides on standardized production wheels, another strong signal that Tesla is preparing for mass manufacturability, not just show floor aesthetics. And while it still carries temporary side mirrors for regulatory compliance, these will almost certainly disappear once the vehicle goes driverless. Every design choice screams one thing. Cost efficiency. Then came Tesla AI's Halloween teaser, cheekily titled Animal Style. The post showed the Cybercab rolling through an in-and-out drive through a playful callback to Tesla's habit of testing early prototypes at the California burger chain. But beyond the humor... The clip revealed several key upgrades. Segmented LED daytime lights, functional turn signals, new split headlamps, and a cleaner, more aerodynamic front fascia. Here's why all of this points straight to the Model 2. Both cars are being built on the same Gen 3 platform, designed from the ground up to cut manufacturing costs by over 50% compared to Model 3 Y. This modular platform will allow Tesla to produce different body styles, from compact hatchbacks to robo-taxis, all using the same core components. The Cybercab's simplified structure, revised aerodynamics, and modular chassis are exactly the kind of engineering breakthroughs Tesla needs to make the rumored $25,000 Model 2 a reality. How is Tesla's FSDV14 roll out the final clue to how the Model 2 will think, see, and drive itself? How is Tesla's FSDV14 roll out the final clue to how the Model 2 will think, see, and drive itself? 
Tesla has officially begun the wide rollout of full self-driving, supervised version 14 to the Cybertruck, marking one of the most significant software overhauls in Tesla's history. And the very same foundation the upcoming Model 2 will depend on. The rollout comes roughly a month after Tesla began pushing early builds of version 14 to its S, 3, X, and Y lineup, signaling that the system is now stable enough to handle the most complex vehicle in Tesla's fleet. On Monday, multiple Cybertruck owners confirmed they had received software update 2025.38.8.5, which includes FSD version 14.1.5, the first official FSD version built specifically for the all-electric pickup. The Cybertruck's four-wheel steer-by-wire system introduced a massive challenge for Tesla's AI team. Its rear wheels can turn independently, requiring an entirely new motion model for how the network predicts and responds to cornering dynamics. Traditional FSD models trained on the S3XY lineup couldn't simply be reused. The team had to retrain thousands of hours of driving data to handle Cybertruck's steering geometry, wider stance, and new camera placement layout. Unlike Model Y or 3, which have symmetrical side cameras, the Cybertruck's side units are offset and angled differently, demanding a separate calibration routine to ensure the neural net sees correctly around its larger body. This precision matters because the Model 2's Gen 3 platform will likely use the same AI framework one capable of dynamically adapting to different vehicle sizes, wheelbases, and steering configurations. In other words, FSD version 14 isn't just an upgrade for current owners. It's a training ground for the Model 2's driver assist brain. Tesla's official release notes for FSD version 14.1.5 reveal just how far this version has evolved beyond simple navigation. The system can now autonomously choose where to park whether in a garage, driveway, street, or public lot, and can identify and yield to emergency vehicles like police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances with greater accuracy. Tesla has also integrated route planning directly into its vision-based neural network, allowing FSD to reroute in real time when detecting lane closures, blocked roads, or construction detours, all without relying solely on GPS or map data. The update adds multiple driving profiles to let users fine-tune behavior, from assertive acceleration to more cautious lane management. More importantly, it improves object handling for both stationary and dynamic obstacles, including debris like tires, tree branches, or fallen boxes, all of which can now trigger smarter path correction. Tesla also refined system recovery after degraded performance, meaning FSD can now gracefully resume normal operation after encountering temporary sensor interference or vision errors. Even subtle updates, like windshield contamination alerts for the front cameras, show Tesla's attention to real-world reliability, a vital factor for scaling FSD beyond premium vehicles. What makes this rollout critical for the Model 2 is not the feature set itself, but the software modularity behind it. By proving that FSD version 14 can operate on a platform as unconventional as the Cybertruck, Tesla demonstrates that its next-gen AI stack can adapt seamlessly to smaller, lower-cost vehicles without rewriting core code. This is exactly how Tesla can deliver full FSD capability on a $25,000 car, using a universal software architecture trained once, scaled everywhere. How are Tesla's AI5 to AI8 chips the true technological heart behind the 2026 Model 2 revolution? Elon Musk may have just revealed Tesla's most ambitious leap yet, and it lies not in the car's design or battery, but in its brain. During recent exchanges on X, Musk subtly confirmed that Tesla's upcoming AI8 chip won't be confined to vehicles or humanoid robots. Instead, it's being developed as a cross-company neural engine, one capable of powering both Tesla's cars and SpaceX's orbital data centers. Musk has previously stated that SpaceX plans to build orbital data centers using Starlink V3 satellites, each capable of handling up to 1 terabit per second terabits per second through laser interlinks. 
These space-based clusters would bypass the Earth's growing constraints on power and cooling for terrestrial AI data centers. By deploying compute infrastructure in orbit, SpaceX could drastically reduce land and water use, a visionary but controversial move as critics question long-term maintenance costs. Musk himself described orbital computing as a very big deal, and given SpaceX's track record of turning the impossible into engineering reality, AI-8 could very well become the first AI processor to operate both in Tesla cars and in space. But before AI-8 ever reaches orbit, Tesla's roadmap begins on the ground with the AI-5 and AI-6 chips, the next-generation silicon destined to drive both full self-driving and the intelligence stack of the Model 2. Musk officially introduced AI-5, formerly known as Hardware 5, in mid-2024, calling it a brilliant design and a massive leap over the current AI-4 chip. In raw numbers, AI-5 is projected to be 40 times faster, offering 8 times the computing power, 9 times the memory, 5 times the bandwidth, and 3 times the performance per watt compared to AI-4. Production will be split between Samsung and TSMC, with fabrication taking place at advanced facilities in Arizona and Texas. Both companies will build slightly different versions of the same chip due to unique physical design optimizations. So, what excites you most about the upcoming Model 2? The sleek, production-ready design, full self-driving capabilities, or the powerhouse AI chips under the hood? And which feature would you use first once you get behind the wheel? If you want more insider breakdowns like this, hit that like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and ring the bell. Your click puts us one step closer to covering Tesla's next big move. Don't miss out.